unless I hear votes to the contrary. Hearing none, motion passes. Item 9, presentation by board members. Mr. Speed? There is none. There's secretary's correspondence. Yes, no, you do. No, there is. Oh, there is? Oh, there is. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, there is. See, I told you that this crank would be much better at this than I would. Um, I'm reading a note from the uh, family of Thomas K. Shatt. Uh, on his passing. This is actually addressed to Ms. Porsche. Please convey my thanks to the board, of school, the school, the board of School Directors and the Administration for the lovely flowers that were sent to me when my husband Thomas Jack passed away. Tom enjoyed attending the meetings and went as long as he was able. Tom negotiated the contracts for Phoenixville Area School District, but cancer was something that he wasn't able to negotiate. It was a losing battle, melanoma one, but he put up a, a valiant fight. Tom always looked for a solution. He never went with an agenda. He always had the best interest of the children of this district at heart. Perhaps his legacy could be to promote, I apologize, my reading glasses aren't working, a better understanding and cooperation among diverse factions. Leave politics at the door, work for the kids, exclamation point. Thank you, Faye Shen. Thank you, Mr. Speed. Is there a VCIU report? Uh, yes, Mr. Marquino. Uh, we did uh, have our meeting in uh, November. Uh, this month we are not having a meeting, so we will pick it up again in January. Uh, just a couple of quick notes, uh, uh, just so everybody knows here. Uh, you know, with the state having money issues, uh, money has been slowly coming into the IU. Uh, it's been actually been pretty tight in some of the past months, uh, paying the bills, but uh, hopefully that will get uh, straightened out. Uh, I do have the, um, I know Mr. Um, Small had uh, brought up the uh, competitive bid for gasoline and oil products. I do have that list here. If anybody wants to know what the winning uh, prices were, I do have that uh, with me. Uh, also, we had a discussion on the uh, educating for the homeless ch children, children program, uh, which I guess BCIU is actually um, the Region 2 administrative agent, which includes Berks, Levin, Lancaster, Chester, Lebanon, Schuylkill, and uh, Dolphin County. So, Berks IU actually uh, is in charge of all that. Um, and I guess the discussion we had was, uh, of course, uh, trying to identify these, these kids, have one of the challenges, uh, make sure they get the, the proper education uh, out there. Uh, we also, uh, I don't know if uh, Mrs. Uh, Torcha had uh, mentioned uh, Tom Seldenberger. Uh, came to our last meeting, I'm not sure if he did. He's, he's the, um, the circuit rider for um, our area. He's behind, uh, we're all familiar with um, the FAIR funding initiative going on, and they're having the commission right now out in Harrisburg to, uh, to discuss that. His job is to, uh, well, the, the job of, of their, uh, the goal of, of this organization is to get awareness out there uh, of, of, what, of what's going on, try to make other constituents 
uh, aware of this and to get it in front of their uh, you know, members of, of, the, uh, of the state uh, senate and uh, uh, folks out there. So um, he, um, if we're interested, he would come out to our board if we are interested to have a discussion with us. Um, and there's also, I do have, um, they have a website, uh, if anybody's interested, uh, they can go out and check that out. It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, fairfundingpa.org. Uh, that's their, their website, which explains their, their purpose and also has a lot of press um, out there for what they're trying to do. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're trying to, to pull all the districts together to, to come up with a cohesive uh, a goal here, and I guess one of the ideas is that, uh, I forget the terminology he used, but uh, one of their their stated goals is to make sure that monies that districts are receiving now will not would be no less than what they're getting now. It's all harmless. Is the Thank you, the, the whole harmless. That way some of the districts who potentially could lose money uh, would, would not, and so they would back the, uh, the fair fund. Um, and I think finally, um, I have here, we'll, uh, coming up in January, we, we will be getting our discussions on uh, the upcoming IU budget, as well as uh, voting on that to get it out to, uh, to all the districts for their approval. I do have one question. You said you have gasoline prices? I do. do. Can you tell, or can Mr. Small tell us what they are compared to last year? I don't have a copy. I don't know what last year's were, but the uh, the winning uh, firm and uh, they have three different ones here. So I guess would, would be would be the transport or would be tank wagon unleaded? <laughs> Should be transport. Transport is your seven. So the transport unleaded for eighty-seven octane is two dollars and thirty-one point seven seven cents, or two point three one seven seven. I'll pass it over. Tra transport is 7,500 gallons or more. Tank wagon is your small tankers. Okay. I'll, I'll pass that right around. Finally okay. woke up. Yeah, 7,500 gallons or more for transport, and less than that is your tank wagon price. Thank you, Mr. Rathke. PCTC report. Thank you, Mr. Martino. Uh, the PCTC met last this past Thursday for their reorganization meeting, and um, they did. Uh, the president and vice president are the same this year as they have in the past few years. Um, one of the things that we looked at this year was um, we drafted a strategic plan, and we authorized advertising of that, and um, the other kind of big event um, that we knew about, but it became official this last meeting, was that um, Dr. Lees will be resigning at the end retiring. of the school year. Yeah. Re retiring. Yeah. So, um, the search committee got put together to start looking for a new uh, ad sure. administrator, and um, he'll be sorely missed, and, and we're hoping to find somebody that can lead to school for the next decade or so, as well as he did. So, um, they will also, the uh, budget committee has also been um, scheduled to meet, so they'll be working on the budget for next year as well. So, that was all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Desky. Any questions about the BCTC report? Seeing none, I'll move into the legislative report. There, there's not a lot going on in the state right now. You're in lame duck sessions waiting for all the new people to be sworn in come January. Locally, uh, Mr. Small and I last week attended uh, the Amity Township Planning Commission meeting, which was a brief meeting, even though they, they did tell us they lowered their, uh, what was it, traffic impact. traffic impact fee from $2,000 to about $800, which should help spur some growth a little bit. Um, did chastise us for taxes, but I did remark to them that taxes here have not increased very much in the past years. And we asked them what their uh, 
real anticipated growth is for the next two years for residential properties, and, and Amity Township anticipates no more than 30 to 40 new homes in the next two years. Uh, I have no standing in Union Township or Birdsboro not being a resident, but perhaps, Mr. Small, if you contacted the, the borough council in the township and asked them for the same question, what real residential growth do they anticipate in the next two years? It would help yeah, us. I'm on the plane, Commissioner. Oh, you could just ask Mr. Doty. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can ask him right now. <laughs> No, but seriously, because with, with our declining enrollment, I, I think it's important to know not not what's on their books, but what they really anticipate being built. Yeah, the only thing right now is the grocery store, the water supermarket is going in, which that's in that um, the, the, alert, the alert is in, but I'm talking more residential because that's what's going to impact our schools. Not Birdsboro. Yeah. There's nowhere else to go. Unless we start revitalizing and put some tacos on. Yeah, I mean, something might happen with Armor Cast at some point, but that's that's like the only land we have. Can you use this microphone? We can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not used to having an audience. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. What he was saying was, was that he does not anticipate any residential growth in Birdsboro anytime soon, possibly if, if the armor cast property was converted, but, but that's a long way out, probably not within the next two years. There, There's talk about townhomes being built on 724 in Union Township. There's a question of whether they're age-restricted or whether they're going to be open to anyone. And age-restricted wouldn't impact our enrollment, regular housing would. The only other thing I have, and, and I actually have another business office question. Supposedly, Mr. Miller, the bridges are both open now over the river. So would you find out with the bus company tomorrow, are they immediately going to shorten the bus ride for those children? And does that save us any money? Thank you. That's all I have for a legislative report. The student board representative report is Percy no I'm sorry. For legislative as well, not the report. But I did see the governor elect did come out with a list of transition teams recently, and I was disappointed that for the education department it did not include any local school board members, but it did include the two heads of the teachers unions in Pennsylvania. I just thought that was interesting that our board might be interested to hear that. It would be nice if there were some representatives of school boards on there, but just stuff to be aware of when coming months. There's a phrase for that in Pennsylvania. It's called, oh, what a surprise. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that, but yeah, but that was... Uh, <laughs> Back to our student board representatives. Uh, <coughs> Ms. Schroeder was ill today, and Ms. Sweet not realized that she was going to fill in for Ms. Schroeder, so she had a prior commitment. Are there any other reports that I'm, I'm missing? Hmm. Anything on building and grounds? We, me, we did not meet this one. No. Thank you, Mr. Gensky. Financial approvals. You going to take these individually? Or? Don't have to. Okay, the motion for 11A for C. Second. Motion by Mr. Wolf, second by Mr. Kurtz to approve 11A through C for financial approvals. Any questions, discussion? I have a question. Um, I'd like to see, I mean, as it relates to B and C, Mr. Small, if you'll double check my figures here, this is a $37,105 purchase. Thirty-two thousand. Okay, make me a liar for five grand. That's okay. I'm all right with that. I would really like to see what the cost would be for the current provider of snow removal. It was Bear Wolf. Lauren. Bear. 
one of the animal groups. Yeah. I don't mean to demean anybody about that, but I could not remember. That's okay. Um, My last name isn't one of those, so I'm not <laughs> no offense taken. <laughs> but I would really like to be able, I would like to see what, what the cost of that would be, knowing that from year to year we just don't know what we're going to get weather wise. I'm very hesitant to spend 37000 much less 32000 much less $25,000 on a vehicle that I just don't know. Can money be put to a better use in other words? So I, I would like to see that analysis. Or some discussion about it. I can only say that we put a ton of money into um, snow removal last year that easily could have probably bought and paid for this vehicle. Um, but also, the fleet is very deteriorated, and that is why, because so many years it's been put off. So I, I can respect that, but we, we didn't move forward with this recommendation without, you know, thinking about where else could the money have been spent, but it was time. Spiegel's used for more than just snow. Right? Correct. Yes. <clears throat> Obviously, we can only plow snow. <laughs> but I, I will get to that analysis in detail. Mr. Martino, is it, I'm not sure of the procedure, but can we, can we table B and C until we have that analysis? Because I'm not, I'm not comfortable voting. Well, I, I know the, the finance committee did recommend that to proceed. Right? Mm -hmm. I was on the committee, so I was there. <laughs> we discussed this in building the grounds. One of the one of the vehicles is sitting at the shop where the frame is coming. The, the uh, cab is attached to the frame. And it's yeah. basically not usable and for, it, for that purpose any longer. So and that's already been dropped. Yeah, and this is <laughs> and this is uh, something it's they really need. So the uh, building grounds we we uh, we support it also. I, I think the bigger issue, which is not part of this discussion, but our fleet is old, and what you're going to be presented with in the near future is a plan to upgrade more than just this vehicle. Bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. And I, I think at the finance committee, we did we did talk about putting it off, um, but the, it's not off. But if they order, if they get it, if they order it now, they can use it this year because we did. I mean, we did ask because um, my concern was oftentimes you have to wait three months, two or three months. But there's one sitting on a lot that they can get. Yes. I verified, I verified that on Friday. It is ready to ready to go. See, I understand you. You want the analysis. I, I guess my fear would be we don't know what the weather's going to be, and, and if we put this off a month, and in the meantime we get hit with a big snowstorm, are we going to be that much farther in the hole and still have to buy this later? If it's available. Yeah. If it's yeah. available well, at this, this price. price. Well, the motion the is the question of. Yeah. If, you're looking for, if you're looking procedurally, you could make a motion to table that would have to be seconded and voted on. I mean, just playing a parliamentarian, I guess. I don't know. Thank you for that. Somebody yeah. That's helpful. Yeah. <laughs> or you could vote no. If you're not comfortable, you, I mean, Okay. Yeah, where's Mrs. Whiteman? She votes now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I like that. <laughs> Let's either call for a vote or yeah. get a second to Mr. Uh, Secretary. Call for a vote. Well, 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 wait. I mean, I'll make a motion to table these. Is there a second? Hearing none. Mrs. Kramer, you want to call the roll, please? I will. This will be a name vote. Whatever it's called. A roll call. Roll call. Mr. Doty. Yes. Mr. Kurtz. Yes. Mr. Rapgap. Yes. Mr. Speed. No. Ms. Twardowski. Yes. Mr. Wolf. Yes. Mr. Martino. Yes. 
Motion passes 6 1. Moving on to item 12, personnel approvals. Motion for 12A through D as amended. Thank you. Second. Motion by Mr. Wolf, second by Mr. Speed. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, Mr. Kramer? This will be a unanimous vote for approval unless I hear votes to the contrary. Uh, I'm contrary. Okay. This will be a roll call vote. Oh, sorry. Or can I just do it as or no? Can I just vote no? Okay. We'll just do a, a, you know, a voice vote and record the um, nay votes. Okay. Do we, without doing the roll is what I'm saying. Are those just all in favor? Which one did you want to bring? Well, yeah. But I mean, that's not I, in there. Okay, I'm comfortable voting no, or if you want to bring it's it down, I can say what my objection is. Yeah, just, do a, just do a voice vote. It's E. I just did. What he's saying is, I don't object to everything. I object yeah. to one specific thing. So, so that's your vote. But I'm okay with just voting no. It's the whole thing. Just all in favor. All in favor for uh, motion 12A through D as amended. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Thank you. Motion passes 6 1. This would be an unanimous vote for approval unless I hear votes to the contrary. Hearing none, motion passes. Are there any policy issues? There are not. I just would like to give you an update with regard to the PSBA policy um, process. They will be in touch. So as soon as I hear from PSBA, then we will be able to have another policy meeting. But for right now, we we don't have any information. So I would say we don't need a policy meeting for December. Okay. Mrs. Torsha, um, can, we, can we reach out to our transportation companies and see if we can get a random recording sample that um, has the audio in the video? Absolutely. I, I can reach out and see ask them. Yep. A, just a little, little show to see what, what we're what those actually picking up. Okay. Even if they just put five or six bus drivers on the bus okay. spread out yeah. so you could see what, what's <clears throat> picked up front and back. While it's running in control. That way no, no students are have their privacy violated. Okay. I will I will check and get back to you. Is there anything else under transportation? Hearing none, we'll move on to old business. Motion for item 16A. Second. Motion for 16A to appoint Tom Kirstner as the VOTEC operating committee member. Second by Mr. Dowsey. Comments or questions? I'm oh, sorry, the motion was by Mr. Kurt. Second by Mr. Dowsey. No comments or questions, Ms. Kramer? This will be an unanimous vote for approval unless I hear votes to the contrary. Hearing none, motion passes 7-1, 7-0, uh, excuse me. 16B, a motion to approve the minutes of October 13th Committee of the Whole, October 13th Special Voting Meeting, and the October 27th Voting Meeting. So moved. Second. Motion by Ms. Radowski, second by Mr. Doty. Comments or questions? Sorry, I would have moved that with the other motion. I didn't know they were in here. Sorry. 
I thought you had some objections. No, I don't. I'm sorry. No. Well, there, there may be. Are these minutes all in here? Yes, they are included in the packet. But you know, which, which dates were missing? The November ones in 17G. Oh, the okay. November ones. Oh, okay. So that's under new business. Okay. Sorry, that was my question. We're not trying to confuse it. All right. Okay. Item 16B has been motioned and seconded. Comments or questions? Hearing none. This will be a unanimous vote for approval unless I hear votes to the contrary. Hearing none, motion passes. Item 17, new business. Motion for 17A through H. Motion by Mr. Wolf. H is the new name. Sorry. Yeah. As a, a through H. Second. Second. Motion by Mr. Wolf. Second by Ms. Prodowski. Comments or questions? As amended. G is As amended. amended. Okay, but um, the minutes for G is not in there. Okay, We're not doing oh. it. okay then I amend my original motion to for 17A through, through F and H. Excluding G. A through H excluding I'll amend, G. I'll amend my second. Yeah, just, just for the record, the minutes for November somehow, instead of going out to, to the board president and secretary for review and edits and back to Mrs. Kramer, somehow got diverted to a different board member. And so we're not returning to Mrs. Kramer. So having said that, Mrs. Kramer, in the future, if you don't receive minutes back from the president or the secretary by the time you're ready to post the agenda, post it as there are no edits. I mean, if that's incumbent on the president and secretary to get those back to you. If we don't, that's our fault. Okay. Is there any other comments on new business? Seeing none, I, I would ask that you do a roll call vote on this, please. I will. <laughs> um, this will be a roll call vote for item number 17, A through H, excluding G. Ms. Twardowski? Yes. Mr. Wolf? Yes. Mr. Doty? Yes. Mr. Kurtz? Yes. Mr. Rapgab? Yes. Mr. Speed? Yes. Mr. Martino? No, and I'd like to note for the record that my objection is to the school calendar. Under new business, I have one other item. On Wednesday at 5 p.m., the curriculum committee will be meeting. Motion passes 6-1. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Mrs. Kramer. And if that could be communicated to the student board members, they're welcome to attend and encouraged to attend if they're able to the curriculum committee meeting. I don't know if that would be Mrs. Torshaw or Mr. Hankel or... Megan's listening. I'm sure okay. she'll take care of it. Great. Thank you, Mrs. Warren. I, I also wanted to add because um, item 17F were the new committee memberships, which the board all had in, in their possession before this meeting, but the policy committee is going to have to change the policy regarding committees because we, we've abolished the meet and discuss committee, we've abolished the, the revenue enhancement committee, and we've made the uh, negotiating committee, I'm sorry, that, that sort of merged with meet and discuss, and the policy committee is now a standing committee, not ad hoc. So that whole policy has to be Written I noticed that the revenue enhancements also in the uh, strategic plan that you sent around. The comprehensive plan. The comprehensive, I'm sorry, yeah, the comprehensive plan. So it was in there also. Okay. Yeah. But we didn't approve the committee until after. So, yeah. Right. So. I'll be okay, though. Is there anything else from the board? Are there any presentations by the public? Seeing none, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. <laughs>